Hey guys, SCT here, happily introducing a new feature of the Technic Launcher. I'm really, really excited to show this to you guys because uh, it's been something we've been we, we've brought up a bunch in in the past and have been wanting to implement, and finally have got around to it recently in the past couple of days. Um, I'm sure you've noticed the new cosmetic changes we made to the launcher. Those are those are much needed and definitely made it look a lot better. But on top of that, we've also added some new backend features that I think a lot of you are going to really, really enjoy. Um, the most notable one being the custom zip feature. Uh, we've been trying to find a solution to one of the most common problems we've seen with server owners is what if they just want to add more mods? And what's the easiest way to do that? Right now, if someone wants to add more mods to their servers, basically they have to jump through hoops to get their, their users to use them, and it makes it really complicated for a user to uh, get on the server. Um, and on top of that, servers that would be posting their servers in our server listing um, users would be confused as to how to get on, and there was no easy way to describe or explain it, and for that reason we just denied any servers that were using extra mods on top of the default packs. So what this does is allows you to add mods into the default packs and customize them to your to your will, basically. Um, so let's get right to it. Where do you find this new feature? Well, it's in options, but first, of course, you want to select whatever mod pack you want to be overriding. So for this example, I'll be using Tech at Light, the new mod pack here. And you're going to click on options and you'll see in here uh, there's a new section called custom zip and what this is is basically you will put in a url and the launcher will grab that zip and extract it over the base directory of whatever mod pack you're using um, after it downloads the mod pack now this will only happen once um, unless the cache is cleared or if you uh, update between versions or change versions for any reason so um, let me explain how to make the custom zip. It's rather simple, and for this example, I'll be using Mind Factory Reloaded's new version. This is actually 2.03 that I renamed it for uh, a test. So um, uh, I'll be knocking out two burns with one stone here, basically showing you how to overwrite files and um, how to add new files. So if we look in the Technic Launcher directory, we'll see uh, we go into Tech at Light. This is the current directory structure. We have core mods and we have mods and uh, you can even overwrite the bin files. This is empty right now because I haven't even installed Ticket Lay yet for the example. But um, it, it, to, to get started, you're going to want to create a new folder in the custom URL directory here. And inside of there, you're going to want to make the directories that match the current install. So for this, we want to be making a directory called mods because that's where both of these files are going to go. And that matches the mods folder here. So we'll take both of these and move them into the mods directory. Now, if we were to just do it like this and package it up, it wouldn't work. Reason being, we already have Mind Factory reloaded in the current build of Technic, or sorry, Tech at Light, uh, and the current version that's currently included is 2.0.1. So if we were to just uh, zip it up and package it like this, it would extract Mind Factory reloaded 2.0.3, it wouldn't get rid of 2.0.1, and when you started up the client, it would crash because you would have two versions of Mind Factory loaded, and we don't want that. So the solution to this is, if I want to update a mod, you rename it to match whatever the current name is in the directory. This won't affect anything, you know, with the actual mod. It's just a file name, so there's no issue with having uh, renaming them at all. Uh, Power Crystal's core does not exist. This was new, newly uh, added his core um, pack with uh, Mind Factory Load 2.0.3 or Point two, I'm not sure which one, one of them. Um, so we don't have to do anything with this. This will extract just fine and not overwrite anything and just add a new file like it's supposed to. So now that we've done that, uh, we'll zip this up. But just so you understand, uh, you can also make a core mods folder. And if you're adding a new mod that actually has block IDs that need to be adjusted, you'll also need a config folder and you'll need to include the config files in here for that mod uh, or any core mods that are also required for that mod. But we don't need that for this because we're not doing this, uh, and Power Crystal Core does not have any new block IDs, so there's no reason to have config files for it. So once you have it set up how you like, you're going to take the folders you created and add them to an archive. And for this uh, example, we're just going to name it uh, mods.zip. That's fine. And if you look in here, you'll notice that the base directory is just mods, and that's how we want it, so that the root of this directory will extract directly into uh, the Tech at Light folder into the mods folder. Once that's done, you're going to want to host that file somewhere uh, people can reach it. So for this example, I'll use a public Dropbox. Um, 
and you, you'll you send, uh, once that's uploaded there, we'll grab the public link and you'll send this to whoever you want uh, to use your extra mods. Then you'll click on the options or have them enter it into the custom zip area here. Hit OK. Log in. It'll download TechIt Lite, all the TechIt Lite mods, and then at the end, right real quick, you'll see mods.zip. And it'll load up with your extra mods um, and TechIt Lite. Now, the possibilities of this are endless. You could overwrite our modpack.jar. Um, you're going to notice this right here. This is what we use for Forge versions. So uh, we don't actually write Forge versions to Minecraft.jar because we don't distribute Minecraft.jar. Um, if you look inside modpack.jar, this is actually Forge, and this is uh, extracted out on top, uh, or it's rather um, reflected onto Minecraft.jar when it starts. So you can actually overwrite modpack.jar even with your zip files and have extra versions of uh, newer versions of Forge, if so be it, if that's what you, if you, uh, what you want. It's completely up to you. But now that it's started up, we can look in the mods list here and scroll down a bit here. Where is it? You will see eventually when I get to it, Power Crystal Core. This isn't normally included in Tech at Light. And Mine Factory Loader has been upgraded to 2.0.3. And there shouldn't be any issue in creating a world with these two new features. So um, basically, mod owners, you have free reign over what you want to include in your server. Uh, we won't be offering any support for this feature because we aren't directly distributing these mods and it's not our responsibility to take care of uh, each person's computer. We urge you to take caution in what um, zip files you download from what users because we can't control what they're distributing either. Um, uh, so, you know, it may be malicious or whatever, but uh, I'm sure there will be plenty of trusted servers who want to add mods to their server and this will be probably one of the best ways to do it. So uh, if you have any questions on how to use this, we will be um, definitely um, happy to help you understand the formatting and how the zip files work. Uh, we will not be hosting any packages on our, uh, on our servers. Um, feel free to host whatever you want on yours, uh, but be aware that you will be dealing with the bandwidth yourself. So if you're running a large populated server, be ready to um, have the bandwidth ready to, to serve the mods for your, for your new, in, what, in, in essence, private mod pack. Uh, if you get really crazy, you could even write entirely custom mod packs by packaging up an entire zip and using the vanilla um, mod pack in the mod pack list and then um, use the custom URL in the vanilla and you can extract your own entirely custom mod pack on top of that. So um, we really hope you enjoy this feature and we feel it was something the Technic Launcher really, really needed and we can't wait to see what happens. Um, so enjoy guys and uh, see you on the forums.